Hi guys, welcome back to Channa Tech Point. In this video, I covered the Capgemini interview questions, where the candidate got selected with the package of 12 LPA. The candidate is also able to answer the majority of the questions and successfully clear the interview. The first question is, what is marker interface? An interface that does not contain the methods, fields, and constant is known as a marker interface. In another words, an empty interface is known as a marker interface. Examples of the marker interfaces are serializable, clonable, and remote interface. This is the example syntax for the serializable, public interface serializable. Uses of marker interface. The marker interface is used as a tag that informs the Java compiler by messaging so that it can add some special behavior to the class implementation. The next question, what is volatile keyword in Java? Volatile keyword is used to modify the value of the variable by the different threads. It is also used to make a class thread safe. It means the multiple threads can use the method and instance of the class at a time without any problem. The volatile keyword can be used either with the primitive type or objects. The volatile keyword does not catch the value of the variable and always read the value from the main memory. The volatile keyword cannot be used with the classes and methods. However, it is used with the variables only. The next question, differentiate between the thread class and runbull interface for creating a thread. We all know the thread can be created by using two ways, by extending thread class, by implementing runbull interface. However, the primary differences between both the ways are given below. By extending thread class, we cannot extend any other class as Java does not allow the multiple inheritance while implementing runbull interface we can also extend other base class if required by extending thread class each thread creates a unique object and associated with it while implementing the runbull interface multiple threads share the same object Next point, thread class provide the various inbuilt methods such as get priority, is elive and many more while runbull interface provide the single method is called run method. Next question, can we start a thread again? Why? What happened if we do so? No, once the thread has completed its execution and entered into the terminated state, it cannot be restarted. If you try to start the thread that has already has been terminated, it will throw an illegal thread state exception. Next one, difference between fail post and fail safe. This is a very important question. Fail first, this iterator directly works on collection object itself. Whereas, fail safe iterator works on clone or copy of the collection object. It does not allow modification of the collection while iterating. It will throw the concurrent modification exception. Whereas, fail safe, it will allow to modify the collection while iterating. It does not throw any exception. Fail post iterator does not require any extra space whereas fail safe iterator requires the extra memory consumes the heap memory fail safe need a more memory it will consume the heap memory examples of fail first iterators are array list hash map vector hash set and those classes are present in the java.util package whereas fail safe Examples of the fail safe iterators are 
concurrent hash map, copy on write, array list. And those classes are present in java.util.concurrent package. Next question. This is the Java each stream API related coding question. Find frequency of the each character in the given stream by using java each stream API. This is the input. We need to find the frequency of the each character in the string using java h stream. Let's start the coding. For time being, I have created one class with the name java 8 code. This is our input. Here I am taking map of character comma long. My object is cat count map. Here I am taking input string dot cats. Dot map to object. Now I am converting map to object. Here I am taking one character typecasting with the character I am using color characters dot grouping by here I am using function dot identity method to identifying the characters characters dot counting method so we will get the values and we will store it in char count map now I am going to print the values Now save it and run the java program. Now we are getting the each character count. In this way we are going to find the characters count. Next question. What is the difference between get and load method? The differences between get and load methods are given below. Get method returns the null if the object is not found. Whereas load method throws the object not found exception if the object is not found. Git method always hit the database. Load method does not hit the database. Get method return the real object not the proxy. Various load method return the proxy object. While using get, it should be used if you are not unsure about the existing of the instance. Load method is used when you are sure about instance of the object exist. Next one. Can we override or replace the embedded Tomcat server in Spring Boot? Yes, we can replace the embedded Tomcat server with any server by using starter dependency in form.xml file. Here you can see below is the example. This is the web dependency. From the web dependency, we exclude the Tomcat server using exclusion and exclusion tag. We are removing tomcat and we are adding one more dependency called jetty dependency. We added separately jetty dependency 
we are replacing tomcat and we are using jetty dependency next one expose all the endpoints except thread dump we want to expose specific endpoints we are using management dot endpoints dot web dot expose dot include equal to health or info we want to enable all we are using include equal to star but here the question is expose all the endpoints except the thread dump we want to exclude the thread dump only so in application dot property we are using this one management dot endpoint dot web dot expose dot exclude equal to thread dump next one how we can handle the authentication in microservices the spring boot provide the various mechanism to handle the security and authentication in microservices integration with the spring security warth2 protocol and json web token jwt those tools enables implementing the authentication and authorization mechanism and securing endpoints and managing the user roles and permission across the microservices next one what are the different approaches in inner server communication in microservices the different approaches for the inner service communication in the microservices including asynchronous communication through http and rest apis and asynchronous messaging using messages brokers like rabbit mq and apache kafka and event driven communication using event buses up our sub mechanisms these are the questions asked in the capgemini interview thank you for watching for more updates please subscribe my channel